Hey Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you score two goals. Hey Mickey, do 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 do. Hey Mickey, do 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 do. Here we go, back again with another match day vlog, and Sunderland welcome one of the best teams in League One to the Stadium of Light tonight for a 7:45 kickoff. Yes, it's Rotherham all the way up from Yorkshire up to the northeast, but hopefully they'll be going home empty-handed tonight. Paul Warren's team's been in fantastic form all season, but there's a few cracks starting to appear at this moment in time, and Sunderland need three points to secure that place in the playoffs. We welcome all the Rotherham fans up to the stadium tonight. Have a safe journey to the stadium tonight and a safe journey home. Now, team news tonight. I'm going to stay take. I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark at the team tonight. I'm thinking we're going to go five two one two. Yes, five two one two. Well, me tomato sauce says it's going to be a five two one two. And Hume comes back in because Winchester's injured and Sirkin is still out, unavailable. So right, Bart Doyle, Hume wing back, Gooch wing back, Matady Evans, Pritchard. I am not sure who will start there. Stewart and Broadhead. That's the team. I'm just having a guess. I'm having a guess. Hopefully, whatever team he puts out today, because you, your guess is as good as mine on Alex Neil. He chops and changes all the time. Hopefully, we'll go away with a win tonight. I'm going to go for a, an ambitious, a very ambitious 4 0 win. <laughs> but is it worth a pound? We'll see you at the match. And we won't. I'm going to the pub to find Wincy. See you in a bit. And yes, I managed to get a lift home tonight after the game from top fencer Mick. Yes, if you want any gardening jobs, then all aspects of garden work undertaken. Undertaken at a reasonable price, but top quality work they do. So if you want any jobs in the garden doing fencing or whatever it is, give this bloke here a ring. There you go. Give him a ring and they'll do a top job. See you later. Well, I'll tell you what, no matter what, it's going to be a tough game tonight. Tough game. Two decent teams playing decent football. May the best team go home with the three points. Unless, of course, it's a draw. <laughs> Here we are on the bus with Wincy's Buffet. Wincy's Buffet, bacon fries <laughs> in a can of Carlin. Wincy, lad, how are you doing? Right, right. What's the score going to be tonight? 4 0. 4 0. 4 0. 66 to 1 for 4 0. I, know, right? I, might put, I might put a sneaky pound in that. Oh, sneaky yeah, pound. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaking on the bottom of the bus, it's Jonas. <laughs> What's the score going to be, Johnny? Um, How do you know the score? You've told me the five times already. What did I say? 1 0. 1 0. 1 0, there we go. Who's going to score? And you've got me a story about your, your pot. Who signed your pot? McGeady. McGeady signed your pot. Here's the McGeady. Did you ask him if it was fit? No. Oh, I never mind. <laughs> And also on the bus we have Jamie. Jamie again. What's the score going to be, Jamie? Two 0 Sunderland. Two 0 Sunderland. Who's going to score? Um, Stuart and Broadhead. Stuart and Broadhead. Jonas. And who's going to score the winning goal? Broadhead. Yeah. Oh, happy days. Said. Is it all right? I'm going deaf. I'm going deaf. <laughs> you are. I think Wins yeah. eating all those pork scratchings. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Wins eating, enjoying them pork yeah. scratchings. I was going to hear winning streak. A winning streak. Winning streak of bacon. Down in one streak of bacon. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Rincy, did you enjoy them pork scratchings? Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Do you enjoy the pork scratchings, did you? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Turn out the night, good Rotherham turn out, plenty of Rotherham fans out tonight. Good team, good supporters. I do wish them all the best. But hopefully Sunderland will get the three points tonight. Hopefully, hopefully. Good turn off the Rotherham fans. Definitely. Can he kill like in there? Goes all the way back. How many hundred? 1,500? What's the score tonight going to be? 2-1 to us. Oh, nice one. What's your name? They're going to win. You're going to win. You're going to win. Good luck. Good luck. May the best team win. May the best team win. Cheers. Hey. Hey. Score 
Prediction, lads. Go on, prediction. Ball us at 3 0 against the Mackham score. Let's go. What's your name? What's your name? Eh? What's your name? Who's your name? What's Touchy your name? Oh. I'd rather we get promoted this season. Well, lad. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Hey, today we're going to Van Keen. Keen, how are you doing, mate? I'm not bad. How are you? Champion. What's the score going to be tonight? 3-1 Rotherham. 3-1 Rotherham. Are you getting Rotherham. promoted this season? We are, yes. We've had a great season. What's your thoughts on the manager? It's, it's quality. I mean, obviously, he used to be a fitness coach, but... Yeah. I Who's your favourite really Rotherham well. player? Uh, say your hands. See him. Enjoy the game. Thank you. Good luck for the rest of the season. Hey, to here with Kyle and Kellen, two top Sunderland fans. How are you doing, lads? I'm good. Yeah, good. Good. What's the score going to be, lad? 4-1 to lads. 4-1? Absolutely yeah. fantastic. 1-0 one Sunderland. 1-0 one Sunderland. Yeah. Are we getting to the playoff final this season? Yeah. Playoffs. Who's your? Oh, yeah. Playoffs, Natalie. yeah. Playoff final. <laughs> what did I say? Playoffs, yeah, yeah. Yeah, playoff final. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Autumn, <laughs> Who's your favourite Sunderland player? Uh, Lyndon Gooch. <laughs> Lyndon Gooch. <laughs> Elliot Emblem. Elliot Emblem. Yeah. Are you going to go to Wembley if we get there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Nice yeah. one, mate. Yeah. Hopefully, I like 4-1. 40 to 1 for 4-1. I've got a pound on that. Yeah. Good luck, lads. Good luck. See you later, lads. See you later. Hey, hey. Oh. Good. 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 Oh, must have been losing too many points. Mick, what's your thoughts at half time? Half time, the way this game's gone, I can't see who's getting anything tonight. No. Absolute referee giving you nothing. Referee's awful, men versus boys, isn't it? Ah, oh, terrible. Absolute shocking. Totally different game from Saturday, believe me. But rather strong team, man. More physical, and more physical. Oh, more physical. Definitely. Better side man. first half. Better yeah. side first half. What's the right? Trichard coming on. Trichard's coming on. Uh, Sorry, I've been not telling you now. Not one. Not one. I'm Fitzgerald. Not one. How are you got the spears? Back again with a match review. Yes, a match review. It's finished Sunderland 1, Rotherham 1, and yes, Mickey, and they're going to pronounce his second name, scored two goals. An absolutely fantastic header. Got away from his defensive marker. Scored a brilliant goal for Rotherham to put one in front, and then scored an even better goal to equalise for Sunderland. Hey, <laughs> for Sunderland. And do you know what it is? I actually saw him. It was 1-0 to Sunderland with like 10 minutes to go or something. I saw him run over to the touchline. He got his mobile phone out and he put on 
a bet on Bet365, 1-1 one, one, Sunderland, then ran onto the pitch and scored a cracking equalising goal. Mickey, absolutely brilliant goal. Thank you, Mickey. Okay, why I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce his second name. I can't even recall what it's called. And I'm not even going to Google it. Or just call him Mickey. Mickey two goals. Mickey two goals. Scored two goals. Two fantastic bullet headers. But all joking aside. Not really. The referee was a fucking disgrace. The referee was an absolute fucking joke tonight. How can he call himself a referee, an official, to officiate that match. It was, what what planet was this bloke on? He was absolutely appalling. He gives Sunderland diddly squat all night. But to be fair, you know, joking aside, to be fair, Rotherham were well organised. For the first, I say for three quarters of the match, they were definitely better organised than Sunderland. They definitely wanted it more. You know, they the won every second ball. They were up from the game from the start. They looked head and shoulders the both, you know, above sorry, most Sunderland players. And for the, the best part of the game, Rotherham deserved to be in front. We had no shots on target, you know. So what do you expect? We were second best. For the majority of that game, we were second best. It wasn't until, until Alex Neal made the changes. He brought on Pritchard, Embleton. And he brought on Clark that we actually went from like a defensive midfield to a sort of more uh, more of attacking midfield that we actually put Rotherham under pressure, but we still didn't create a great deal and we didn't you know have any great opportunities or chances. It wasn't until that Mickey bloke he scored an equalising goal that uh, that was the best opportunity. But you know then we put them under pressure and and they wobbled. Rotherham did wobble. Is one one a fair result? Ooh, I don't know because I thought Rotherham were the better side. To be honest, you know, you can see why they're up there and they're probably going to get promoted in the top two this season. So, you know, so well done, Paul Warren. Well done, Rotherham side. You know, well done, the fans. Rotherham fans, one and a half thousand fans. 33,000 fans at the crowd tonight. Brilliant support from both sets of fans. And, you know, some of them players, I thought Trey Hume, who started, looked a bit out of out of it, it just looked sort of like men versus boys. It looked a bit weak, and I think another season will will do him better. Sunderland's man of the match, Pritchard and Clark came on, did really well. I thought apart from, I mean, the goal that they scored, Mickey scored that first goal. I think he sort of he lost Luke or nine up a bit, Luke or nine, and, and he got a free header. That was really apart from one opportunity in the second half. Rotherham's only great opportunity as well. But they did dominate play and they did win more second balls and they were up for it more in the first half. So now Sunderland are in fifth place with a point above Plymouth, a point above Wickham and it's in our own hands now. We go to Morecambe on Saturday, we beat Morecambe, do the business and we're in the playoffs. Simple as. Sheffield Wednesday I think won a night and they're in fourth place. So all we've got to do now is go and take care of business on Saturday and we'll be in the playoffs and it's next week. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. You know, take care. God bless me. God go with you. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It will be much appreciated. Much appreciated. Thanks again. And we'll see you later. And again, again, well done Rotherham on a good, good game of football. Take care.